Hi, I'm Lauren DeVitas of Sage Street, and today I am joined by Ephraim Hirschfield of Charles River Development. Ephraim is spearheading Charles River Development's LIBOR transition program. So welcome. You have a unique advantage perspective from the Charles River Development. What type of valuation or analytical challenges will these upcoming changes present? Uh, these new changes hitting the market are um, very pervasive and affect many different asset classes from mortgage-backed securities, through swaps, through loans, even through assets that don't have direct LIBOR exposure, such as callable bonds. Um, there's a very intricate ecosystem of models, and it kind of ripples through the way we calibrate interest rate models to the way we value assets, and everything's affected by it. So from a systems perspective, what are the greatest challenges around the LIBOR transition? Well, I think the most important thing about a technology solution is that it empowers its users to do their highest and best use and function as efficiently as possible. So a good technology solution should be able to bring in terms and conditions data and references to the new rates, help um, sunset old positions and legacy rates, and um, facilitate users to have minimally invasive workflows. But the last thing you want is your highly skilled labor force keying in data and having to do a lot of manual operations where technology could really take hold and help make people more efficient. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. I hope you found these insights helpful. Please visit our website at statestreet.com for more information.